Japan. A very warm welcome to day two of live gymnastics from Antwerp in Belgium. Last night was the men's team final. Tonight, it's the turn of the women. And will USA go for their ninth title? Chris? Well, <clears throat> they've certainly got the star of the show in Simone Biles and uh, eagerly anticipated this competition. Top eight countries, and we start here with China. <laughs> Their trademark coats to keep them warm around the competition. They're all warmed up, ready for action. And China third in qualification. And another team full of favourites, Brazil. Qualified fourth. There's your individual world champion amongst these gymnasts. With Rebecca Andrade, Jake Barbosa, Loran Oliveira, Caroline Pedro, Flavia Saraiva, and Julia Suarez. Starting on board, Team United States. But this is the team everybody has to beat. Current reigning world champions, USA with the most decorated gymnast in history, Simone Biles making her reappearance. Closely followed by the team from Great Britain. They qualified second. They were second last World Championships. Oh. Well, they're here for a show. You can see that, Craig. Yeah, they look absolutely pumped up, ready for it. Real opportunity to get onto the podium. The medal is well within their grasp. Team France starting on the floor exercise. Qualified in seventh place, eight teams here. Oh, and we're seeing a little bit of the can can to warm the crowd up with. I think we could probably manage a can can, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a team full of experience. Certainly a big expectation. Qualified in seventh. Japan, the eighth team to qualify. Last World Championships, they were seventh, so they'd love to push up the pack. They will join France on floor. All four pieces of apparatus being used during this competition. And probably the toughest piece to start on, Team Italy. Qualified fifth. The top two teams start on the vault, the next two on the uneven bars, the next two on the uh, beam. And beam's generally considered to be the tough place to start. Certainly is, I think if you get through beam, you, you have a good chance of getting on the podium. The other team on the beam, qualified six, the Netherlands, very experienced team. And actually, a very good team on the beam includes former Olympic gold medalist on the beam. They would say it's one of their favourite pieces, I think. Yeah, and uh, they are renowned around the world for their choreography and artistic impression. We're going to see a broad range of gymnastics uh, this evening and certainly something that fans all around the world will be excited to see. 
this vast array of talent but such a, a great opportunity to see Simone Biles back after a disappointment from Tokyo taking that time out and she really is you know an icon in the world of gymnastics and there'll probably be not a spare seat in the house tonight Christine no I don't think there will be she uh, led the team to qualification and the team uh, were f uh, five marks ahead of Great Britain who followed them in second place but they start from scratch today every team starts from zero and uh, whatever they do today it's just on the day that the uh, gold medal is awarded now this is a very tricky format three gymnasts from the five in the team go up on each piece of apparatus and all those three scores have to count so if somebody really has a terrible day it's going to hurt the team quite a lot isn't it craig it certainly is and we saw yesterday quite a few mistakes even the top teams were falling off the apparatus you've you've a bit more forgiveness on the men's program because you've got the six pieces of apparatus three routines you've 18 routines where the women's you know it's it's three up four apparatus 12 routines so i really feel unless you're usa you cannot afford to carry a fall in this level of competition but i mean the american women must just be going out there thinking well this is another gold medal in the bag especially when you have the likes of simone biles in your team who was two marks above everybody else in the all-round competition so you can really relax in and showcase your gymnastics well of course that is the case but if you have somebody who for some reason runs out on vault and gets a zero or anything uh, you know has a, a big injury on the first tumble and has to stop it can all change. We have seen it all change. And we saw the pressure it put the USA under at the uh, Tokyo Olympics when Simone Biles wasn't able to fulfill all her work. Uh, she, she hurt herself or she, she fell awkwardly and wasn't able to finish. So it really put a lot of pressure on the rest of the team. But I'm sure everybody's going to be strong and safe tonight she's taken time out to get herself her mental health fully recovered and uh, i think it's going to be a very exciting competition today it is in uh, the piece of apparatus that she struggled with in the olympics the vault and it, it just goes to prove the level of gymnast she is because she's completely created a new vault so avoid twisting off the top uh, double pike yuchenko and that's the fifth skill that she's invented and so you, you're lucky in the world of gymnastics if you have one move named after you. <laughs> uh, but five i mean she really does take gymnastics to a whole new level and you can see from that graphic that we're not going to see all of usa and then all of great britain they're going to alternate and it is going to be absolutely fantastic for the gymnasts from great britain to be able to work side by side with the usa team uh, they took first and second in the qualifying individual competition but uh, uh, other than Simone Biles, they're not so completely dominant. We saw a couple of falls from some of the other people. So it'll be interesting to see on this day when every score has to count how they handle the pressure. Yep, absolutely. And, uh, you know, the, there are some good teams in there. China qualified in third place. Brazil, uh, you've got the uh, current world champion, Rebecca Andrade who'll be wanting to put in a good performance, be going to head-to-head -to -head, uh, in the all-round competition with Biles in a couple of days, and obviously Jess got her over. So, yeah, we're in for some great gymnastics. And again, he, even though she has got a good buffer, uh, like you say, she just needs a, a biggish mistake and the door's wide open. Yeah, it's an extremely exciting format, very pressurising for the gymnasts, but... Uh, that's why in training they do so many return routines so that really their work is in their long-term memory they just have to go out and perform well it looks like we're going to start with france on the floor lots of experience so to get this team final underway representing france marine boyer
and of course the women's floor exercise to music and the choice of music so very important they have to intersperse the dance with tumbles and that's full twisting front into tuck front two spins linked together beautifully high leap The dance work has to be expressive and match the music. Good, strong double pike. Very good at the spins. We've seen several different types of spin. It's how she's building her difficulty. Beautifully expressive routine. Not so difficult on the tumbling, but lovely dance work. Yep, couldn't agree more, Christine. What she likes in some of the difficulty, she definitely makes up with her artistic impression. Really good working with the music. There's a double pike back somersaults, one of the requirements. Gymnasts have to perform a variety of requirements on the apparatus. First look, China on bars. Looks and like this is going to be Yu Shen. And China were top on bars in qualification. So first to get the team underway, Yu Yushen. And they are such wonderful technicians on this apparatus. Flies to the high bar with a half turn. Have to show a good hand stand position. Watch this. Full turn. Full turn up into the front somersault, the piked somersault. Down to the low bar. Gymnasts have to move from the low bar to the high and back up to the high again. Her second release, very neat, Ginga Salto. Just a big dismount needed. Full twisting double back, lovely height, little hesitation on landing, but a very good opener for China. They're often a little bit nervy in the competition. Yeah, I have to agree, Chris. It's just about getting through, settling the nerves. Good, solid start for China. I'm going to vault for America. Yeah, our first look at the USA on vault. Very strong vaulters here. It will flash up the difficulty score on the board beside the gymnast. You have to say what vault you're going to do before you compete. So the judges know what they're expecting to see. There's no deductions if you do a different vault. But there we are, it's marked out of five and this is Shalise Jones. Well, Team USA are renowned for their dynamic vaulting. That's a good solid start, a double twist. Plenty of height and flight off the platform. As Christine said, out of five, so the maximum she could score is 15. Super block, legs nicely together, tiny bit offline, and that little second bounce will be little marks that will be taken from the execution score. Yeah, that little flutter on landing. But they've got to stay inside the lines, which she did. Marine Boyer, 12.633. We're looking for high 13s and 14s to be the top score of the day. Well, she had a 12 in qualification, so a big improvement.
So on to floor, leading out Japan is Chika Atitega, just 19 years of age. Looking at a big opening tumble, high double tuck. Ooh, very ambitious triple spin. Working hard to interpret the music. Super combination, one and a half in full twisting front. So leaps, spins and tumbles included in these routines. And another gymnast using spins to good advantage. Lovely double pike to finish with. The last tumble has to be included in the difficulty score. Oh, a very polished routine. Again, not the huge tumbling we'll see from some, but very nicely polished routine. Yeah, very measured, business-like. I think for me, the last tumble double pike was a little bit low down in the chest. But, uh, a very compact, dynamic gymnast. The double took back, plenty of height there. Chest was well up on the landing. It's all these little tents the judges are looking for. <laughs> Coach just uh, drilling the handstand shape and a score of 13.766 for the first gymnast on the bars. Uyu Shan scored 14-1 in qualification. Shalice Jones. Good solid start, 14.1, gets Team USA underway on the vault. And first gymnast for Great Britain, Ondine Ashapong. Difficulty five. Very dynamic on this piece of apparatus, wraps in the double twist. That was a cracking vault, Christine. I'd say for me, that was slightly better than the Americans. It, it looked fab, didn't it? Beautiful and high, blocked off the top. I wonder if she was just, oh, just held it in the line. You have to stay in those white tram lines. Plenty of height off the top. I think the timing was absolutely perfect. Now, looks like we're going over to beam. I'm guessing this might be Manila Esposito. We'll see. And it's always the most nerve-wracking, the time you get up on the podium and you're waiting for the judge to put on the green light. Once the green light goes on, you've got 30 seconds to do your start your routine. If you take longer, then there's a deduction. So, on to beam for Italy is Manila Esposito, just 16 years of age. And what about round off flip, layout, layout? To really difficult combination to start with. Again on the beam. You need to see acrobatic skills, but also spins and leaps. And that was a beautiful triple spin. And Valdez 
up to stand off the beam. It's a very well-constructed routine, this. Super height on the leap. Three leaps in a row. And she shows very good split position. Strong free cartwheel. Gymnasts also have to have a little bit of sideways dance when they're not looking at the beam. So this has been a good start for Italy. Now just the dismount needed. Double pike, very impressive performance from Italy there. I can't believe just 16 years of age really did attack that routine with confidence. Love the start. Great separation there, flexibility. And no split leaps. That's it. 13.666 in qualification. And again, it's a piece of apparatus it's difficult to score well on. Let's wait for the score. Ondine at 14.166. Just slightly better than the American. Good start. It'll be great for the British girls to be able to match themselves side by side with the USA team. Flavia Sarajeva from Brazil on the uneven bars. Uh, first look at the team from Brazil. Stoop full turn, well into the handstand. Lovely catch, Ev. Transition with a pack salto down to the low bar. Stoop. Lovely transfer and height to the back bar. And a Ginga somersault towards the low bar. Judges there checking all these turns into the handstand. Lovely dismount, what a mm. performance! Double front somersault to finish, very difficult landing because the gymnast can't see the floor, so it's a blind landing. Great routine, Chris. Great routine, and Flavia is such a charismatic gymnast. We've seen her over the years promise so much and make mistakes. It's lovely to see her go through that routine. Well, this is a gymnast everybody's come to watch. So 5.6 for the difficulty for Team USA, Simone Biles. And the only gymnast female in the world to do, oh, she's opted for the easier vault. She's opted for the half on front straight front one and a half off, which she is a lower tariff, but she, when she's doing the double pike, she always has the coach on the floor. It's a very risky vault, and she obviously didn't want to give away the half a mark that you have taken from you if the coach is on the floor, and so she's gone for the safer vault. Good team tactics. Superb. I mean, the team has got plenty of a cushioning, but 14.133. Uh, for Esposito, I thought that was a cracking beam routine and worthy of that score. Very good indeed, and under that huge pressure of uh, this, this format of competition. It'll be interesting just to see how the rest of the teams have performed. Such So difficult when you just get a couple of gymnasts from each team. There you can see. Atakeda, 12.866 on the floor. Again, just lacking a little bit of difficulty. Oh, good score for Bars, 13.733. Flavia Sarajeva puts the team into fifth place. Now onto the Bars. Second gymnast up for China, Chu Chu Yen. Huge bar routines from these that lovely full pirouette. And the second one, now watch this release. Completely straight body, a little bit bent arms when she caught. Full pirouette. Oh, and she missed her connection. She did that in qualification as well. Had to take the extra upstart into the Kachev. But a very nice pack salto down to the low bar. 
And the Shap with half turn, the flight to the high bar with a half turn. Lovely handstand shapes. Super swinging, full twisting, double back, just a little pace. She's very happy to be through, but there were a few deductions in that routine. Well, she did the same in qualification, actually. We're talking about this once. Christine just missed that link down to the bottom bar. Not deductible, uh, but 14 nines she scored in qualification and some beautiful bar work. I mean, the straight Jaeger somersault at the beginning. I mean, her, her feet are just inches from the bar. Yeah, you have to be completely committed on that move. And for Great Britain, Ruby Evans to the vault. Just 16 years of age, debut at a World Championships. And that's the way you do it. You chain call, double twist. Fabulous vaulting. It's very hard to separate a lot of these vaults, Christine. A lot of gymnasts doing the double twist in Yuchenko. Yes, very good vaulting from Ruby. She's just 16 years old. She's a first year senior, so she's done a great job to work with all the older gymnasts, established ones in the team. And she lifts off, look, a beautiful leg extension. Lovely vault, 14 scored. Puts JP into third place. 28.166, good start. 14.8 for Miles, look at the execution, 9.2. That's USA into top spot, 42.966. I think that's where they're going to stay all the way around the competition. So what's this score we're waiting for? Choo Choo Yen. It's going to be good into the 14s, high 14s. Very happy outing for them because it's quite unusual in the team final to see them go without a mistake on the bars. And if they go without mistake on bars and beam, they will be chasing USA. Well, they certainly put pressure on the British women. That's silver medal spot. I don't. I, I, even if they go through. 14.733, you're right, Chris. Just down a little bit on qualification. Puts them into top spot. I mean, who would have thought bars would take over vault? On to bars then. Rebecca Andrade. Beautiful bar worker. Super first combination. Full pirouette into the pike catch -off. Straight down, straight back up again. That's the way to build your difficulty. The forward element, sky high Jaeger. A little rushed on that turn, but a lovely full pirouette into the full twisting double back. That was an excellent routine. Brazil are buzzing. Yeah, great construction, no empty swings and probably one of the highest releasing catches that we'll see in this competition. There, straight back down to the low bar, the pack salt up, immediately shap with the half turn. And then the, you see, they don't have three swings, less chance for deduction. That'll score well. Now this gymnast has been training with Simone Biles, Chris. Yes, yeah, she has, she's the star of the French team. Melanie de Jesus de Santos, but she's spent the last year training in the USA along with Simone Biles. Well, one of my favourite gymnasts. Such grace, finesse, and power to boot. Full twisting, double back straight, using every inch of the floor area. The control there. The walk out into the double back. height there on the leaps part of the requirements oh, 
Oh, well controlled on the spin. Easily round on the double pike, just the adjustment on landing. Exquisite routine, not the bouncy routine we've seen in the past for De Santos, but obviously a new tempo, a new choreography. Very nice. A mature performance, beautiful tumbling and lovely dance. Look at the style, the straight front somersault walk out into the double tuck. You have to do forward and backward somersaults. That tumble did them all but lovely expressive hands. Really expressing that routine. 14.4 on Draugier on the bars. The judges like that as much as we did. Puts the Brazilians into third. And over to the beam. And uh, this is a class act representing the Dutch, Netherlands, Sunny Weavers. 32 years of age. Olympic champion in 2016. Lovely combination to start. Oh, and she managed it all. The flip on, the full turning jump, and then the one-handed flip. Such control on the spin with the leg held high. Freak, oh, free cartwheel and backflip. You have to join two acrobatic skills. And uh, that was her two acrobatic skills, but they just went off the side. Very difficult to recover. The Dutch always expressive with their dance work. And uh, it's, it's very difficult to do expressive dance on the beam. Just a little hesitation. Good free walk over but she didn't get the two j leaps joined after it. And here's the full spin with the leg up, back spin into the double spin and then the split sleep. It's a combination she's renowned for and gets a lot of bonus marks. Here's the dismount. Full twisting, gain a somersault. She'll be bitterly disappointed with the mistake in the middle, but she's got a beam final to go. We'll, well see it, her again. I'm going to say it just goes to prove what a difficult piece of apparatus the beam is. De Santos, 13.7, difficulty 5.582 five, on execution. Good start for France. Shoko Miyata from Japan to the floor exercise. And we'll see if she can build on the two previous gymnasts. Good technique in the round off flick. Big double layout somersault. Whip into the two and a half twist, well controlled. Changing music, changing expression. Oh, a little bit wild in that double spin. That was well round, the one and a half twist into the full twist.
officially the gymnasts have to sell the routine to the judges work right to the fingertips with all the dance elements up into the double pike what a shame the chest was down got a bounce back from the floor what a shame up until that point chris it was a nice routine it was and these floors are great for jumping off but not so easy to land on you can see how disappointed with herself there lovely technique on the double straight it's the most difficult of the double somersaults and she's got good split on those leaps great technique in the round off flick there you look legs locked together and that's the problem if your chest down you, there's only one way you're going yeah. and it's surprising because she had such a good double layout somersault and now back over to vault the one we're wanting to watch Jessica got her over. Well, big new vault this season for Jess. The round off, half on into the air. Oh, and the one and a half off. And that, that is a big surprise to me. I've seen her do that vault so many times well in training. She just looked a tiny bit high on to me. Yeah, very uncharacteristic, but you'll see here, the gymnasts have to half turn on and block before the feet get to the horizontal. And I think you're right, Chris. Her feet just went a bit too high, so then to block into the one and a half twist. Oh, she's okay. 13 scored. 41.166 for Great Britain. Not the start they wanted. No, not at all, and very unexpected from Jess. She looked so powerful in qualification. Well, we've seen one nice beam routine from Italy. This is Angela Andrioli, 17 years of age. Onto the beam. Oh, and a super handspring tuck front somersault. That is so difficult, and that is her acrobatic series. Everybody has to include a spin. So many of them are doing the squat spin. This is a, becoming a popular move as well, the backward roll to handstand. Oh, a little hesitation at the end of the free walkover. Beam is a lot about confidence. Two good jumps, you have to also include two jumps like that. She's done well so far. She's negotiating the finish here. Double pike, good strong double pike. Another clean routine for Italy. Big smiles all round. Well, it, it is a difficult piece of apparatus to start on with all the nerves, but actually, Christine, you can get it out of the way. 13.033, and you can get through. It puts you right in contention. It certainly does, once you start, if you start on beam. So, for USA, Lian Wong. We've seen two good vaults. They need a third. Another powerful gymnast. Easily round the double twist in the Yuchenko. Textbook vaulting from the American. Gymnast of the second group, your warm up starts now. This gymnast, a real understanding of where to backflip on, strike the top, block, wraps in, double twist, 14.066. It looks like China is still leading so far. So. Miata with that fall on floor, just a 
We are still waiting for the score of Sam Alevis, of course. So you could hear there, they're still waiting for the score for Sunny Wavers the on the beam. Remains unchanged after that inquiry. China's had their best piece of apparatus to score Sunny Weavers. 12.933. And we have the former Olympic remaining. champion. We have a score, we had a score on beam for Sunny Weavers. So here are the current standings. China first. United States, Brazil, Great Britain, all very tight, really. Then Italy, France, Netherlands, Japan. We've seen a couple of mistakes from Japan. But although China are fantastic on bars, it's quite a surprise to see them ahead of USA vault scores. It is, yeah. It was very tight, actually, USA, because they were top on vault. Uh, and China were top on bars, but in for from qualification, rotation. they should have been four tenths above Team USA. But sometimes the judges, you know, just keep the scores down, and as long as they judge everybody the same way, uh, that's what it's all about. So, a rotation two. We've got Japan and France on vault, Great Britain, USA. Onto the bars, Brazil and China on beam, Netherlands and Italy on the floor. Just hope uh, Jess is okay after that vault. Landed a bit short. Sometimes you can just crunch the ankles a little bit. And, uh, sometimes you can walk it off. Yeah, let's hope she's fine. She's got a very uh she looks she looks okay there but she's got a big program she's qualified uh for the all-around competition she's a very tough cookie though chris isn't she right starting this rotation for the netherlands on the floor is our thora thors did you very expressive Great fan favourite here, this floor routine. Double twist in front. Oh, great combination. Good control on the double tuck. Super leaps. Oh, nice two and a half twist into punch front. Final tumble. <laughs> Superb artistry. She lives the performance. Exactly what the judges are after. Totally one of the most expressive routines you're going to see. But, uh, we're going to go onto the bars. Hopefully picked herself up from the vault to lead out Great Britain, Jessica Gadarova. Big test for Jess now. Hop into the big high Jaeger somersault. This is a big release here. Kachev with a turn. Down to the low bar, very nicely done. Now the Shap, back to the low bar with the Paxalto. Has to give this everything to get to the high bar. She does very cleanly. Just two elements left. Full pirouette, that's nice. Dismount, high and well landed. Great response, Jess. Whenever you're disappointed, come back fighting. And that was a very good fight. 
fabulous show of determination difficult routine as well some really difficult combinations linking the dismount don't look any problem with the landing on the ankles there Chris that's good news Chiaka Hatakeda from Japan the first of their vaulters uh, 4.6 so not the most difficult we'll see the one and a half twist in the Yuchenko, what a shame, it just didn't really block off the top. And then having to sit back down. No, you're right, she just was a bit soft on the top. In fact, you could see the elbows bend. And when the elbows bend, it's quite difficult to get the flight off the top of the platform. You want to try and hit with straight arms and block up. Yeah, with it being sprung the top, if the arms are bent, it will just absorb all that energy you've created. Just needs a bit more conviction. Let's see what the score comes. Judges make of this from Thor's well, did here. There's a lot of marks given for artistry, and that was a beautifully artistic routine. She had 12.9 in qualification, but she needs a bit more. 13.7 for Jessica Gadarova. Similar to qualification, good score. First up for USA. Sky Blakely, 14.133 in qualification. Super handstand shapes, lovely Stolder with a turn into the Pike Jaeger somersault. And then the piked Kachev from the Stolder again, straight down to the low bar. Nice pirouette. Gymnasts have to include pirouettes, somersaults, close bar work. Lovely forward giant there. Big high double front with half turn. That's one of the best dismounts I've seen. Very good. Strong work. Impressive routine. From Sky. You can see the Stolder into the pike catch. Jev immediately packs Salto down to the low bar. The coach just hovering in, which is very much allowed. So Hakate Dada 11.8. Mm, they look a little underpowered, this Japanese team. And Thor's Dottier, 13.3 for floor. Great execution score, 8.2. Yeah, an improvement on qualification. First look at this gymnast. Bernardo. So, representing Italy, Alice D'Amato. crisp on that spin she and her twist sister have been great part of uh, the Italian team that have been so impressive over the last few years super double straight but a step out will lose a point one Good, clean, triple twist. Two very difficult tumbles already. Great split action in those leaps. And again. Little hop on the double twisting front, but great variety in these tumbles. Yeah, it's very polished routine, that routine. Always looked in control. Yeah, very lively. 
routine there from the Italian. Sky Blakely, 14.166. Keeps Team USA well in contention. And on to the bars for Great Britain. The first look at Alice Kinsella. Important routine here. Has to hit a good handstand. Toe on with half turn. Good Jaeger somersault. Now comes the difficult combination. The Kachev down to the low bar with the Pat Salto. She's got a couple more difficult moves still. The Shap into the Ging Assalto. Well negotiated. She needs a pirouette now. One, two, good girl, into the dismount, make the landing. Well done, Alice, you'll be delighted with that routine. Lots of pressure on her at that point. Great routine, solid as a rock from Kinsella. And did really well at the end, actually, Christine. The full twist probably wasn't as good as what she wanted, but then to link it straight into the dismount. Super high, Pike Jaeger somersault. On to beam for Brazil, Flavia Sarieva. And this is a gymnast who can be absolutely wonderful on beam or get an attack of the nerves. Started well. Be buoyed by her great performance on the parallel on the uneven bars. You see the little sideways dance that all the gymnasts have to include. And here's the acrobatic series coming. One flip, lay out, nice and secure. She's always beautifully fluent. Look at that leap, head right the way back. Good free walkover. Oh, and another super jump where she touched her head with her foot. Side somersault, you have to do forwards, backwards, and if possible, a side element and hit your splits. And this is something Flavia does very easily. Nice, fluent gymnast. Just the dismount to come. Here we go, round off, double pike. Well, she's on fire today. The Brazilians really are full of bounce. Alice D'Amato scores a 13.3. But, uh, yeah, word on Brazil, if they do manage to get a medal in this team final, it'll be their first team medal ever. 13.533 for Alice Kinsella. Great Britain are back in the game. Well, what an absolute joy it is to welcome back Simone Biles to the gymnastics world. Doesn't she just ooze confidence? She certainly does. Another piece of apparatus. She's qualified for all the apparatus finals, which is a huge feat. Full twist there into a huge pike catch, Jeff. She's such a powerful zippy performer. It's almost like she's racing to get through the routine. Locks the handstand, stoop full turn into the handstand. Immediately into the full twist in double back. That's oh. how you do a routine. She is so at home. A joy to watch, so businesslike as well. She's just <laughs> another routine done, off. Mine's on to the next one. She's got huge energy on the apparatus. I mean, she does have some errors. There are occasions when she splits her legs and her feet aren't quite pointed and stuff like that. But the energy she brings to the routine is enormous. Mm. The height above the high bar in that dismount. Yeah, it's, it's the speed that she gets through the routine for me. Sarieva scores a 14.066, over 14 on beam. What a score. We've seen some great beams here already. And this is the team that produced the most great beams in qualification. Jingjiang, third highest qualifier for the beam final. The gymnast scoring over 14. It's game on here on beam. 
and started with a combination of the big leap on into another leap and a Corbett flip. And here comes the big acrobatic element. The round off straight back. Met the beam well. Three more, four more elements linked very smoothly indeed. Oh, and that's a very tricky combination. I don't think she'll quite get all the links. She stopped a bit after the first jump, but impressive work. Those are the two leaps that you have to join. Move smoothly to the end, building up for the dismount. Oh, very well done because one foot was slightly off to the side. We could see but that's super, super work for China. If they can do three clean beam routines today, then they'll be in the medals. Simone Biles, 14, 4, 6, 6. USA still in second. China leading, I'm sure, after that beam routine as well. Great Britain's Georgia May Fenton. Last to go on bars for Great Britain. Two times Commonwealth champion on this piece. Good piece of apparatus. Georgia May. Stoop into the catcher with the half turn down to the low bar. Well controlled. Transfers lovely to the high bar. Pack Salto back down. Oh! And she should have transferred to the high bar with the shot, and her feet just came off too soon. I think she just went for such a late toe on action there that she just didn't get the feet right on. The gymnasts come on late to get lots of swing, but if you come on too late, you can't hold them on. Well, she'll do it again. That's what she should have done the first time. Good solid handstand, full turn locks out, full twist in the dismount, what a shame. What a shame indeed, four pieces of apparatus is not a lot of time to try and make up two falls. No, and certainly two falls that uh, the British girls didn't have in qualification. Melanie, which is of Dos Santos of France. Five difficulty. It's going to be big. And that's how big <laughs> double twisting your Jenko. Probably one of the highest that we'll see. Surely that's got to be the highest score for that vault. It was absolutely superb. I mean, it hit the rafters that one, and the landing was sublime. France in sixth, looking to hope, move up for the field after this. Well, there was no hop on landing here, was there? She showed us absolutely how to nail it. 14-4. I mean, they yeah. took six tenths of that vault. Where? I mean, I go, where? <laughs> Is there a need to take that much off when it's as good as that? Yeah. Not when they're risking so much as well. You've got to ask the question. <laughs> Obviously didn't like the leotard, because that vault was absolutely sensational. If she can hold a good competition together, she'll challenge for an all-round medal. Well, she's certainly capable of challenging for an all-round medal. She competed as a guest in the American Championships and posted the second-highest score to Biles. To her teammate. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah. if you want to beat the best, you've got to train with the best. And uh, it's obviously working for her. Yeah. Well, George May will not want to look at the scoreboard. Mm. Chang 
Jing Yan scores a 13 2 6 6, so lower than what she scored in qualification. They had a lot of execution. She didn't dance in quite the uh, expressive way that we've seen a fair few gymnasts. So Georgia Mir Fenton scores a 12.4. Uncharacteristic for her. Being next for Great Britain. To Bars and Charlie's Jones for Team USA. Hunting down China for that top spot. Get ever closer. Consistency is the key on this piece. Lovely pirouette. Very nice shot from the shoulder. Big catch over out of the uprise. Now, pirouette. Immediate pike catch over. Immediate down to the low bar with the pack salto. She takes an extra upstart handstand here before she makes the shot half. But lovely swinging. Very nice technique. Good wind up here into the big double front. Met the floor beautifully. It's absolutely superb. And it's almost as if the Biles effect has really lifted the team. What company they're all in together, and they are just an exceptional team. Charlize has qualified second for the Biles final. Well, for me, this is the bar routine of the championships. We talk about virtuosity, being able to perform a skill, you know, at the limits and the height and flight she works those bars. Remarkable. Colleen. Expect a big score. Yeah, we are next to go for France. Huge vault from De Santos. 5.4, the difficulty. Well, it's a big vault. Oh, and it is! Handspring, the straight front with the one and a half twist. <laughs> well, France is storming. Well, this gymnast took a bronze medal last year on vault, and uh, she's a two time European champion. So, hopefully, after this piece, France are going to have vaulted their way up the standings. They most certainly are, and she's in the vault final here later in the week. A vault specialist, really. Powers up into the front somersault from the handspring. Really beautiful landing there. 14 3, Chris. I mean, mm. she starts like a sprinter. Mm. If you look, her head's down for about the first four or five steps to generate that power, and it certainly works. I'm surprised if they've had sprint training mm. yeah. in their gym because she really does harness the power. Can they overtake China? On the second piece of four. I love that bar routine. Mm. It's my favourite routine of the championships. <laughs> I mean, it just had so much flight. She's awarded a 14 6 3 3. Team USA go into the lead. Shoko. Mayata of Japan, an ex-gymnast at the end of the vault runway. It's also in the vault final. She's been looking to go north of 14. Oh, and that's much better vaulting. Double twist in the straight position. Lovely round off here. And then they flip onto the platform. You could see good straight arms. Just a little bit loss of leg tension in the last half of the twist. China's last gymnast up on beam is Zhu Zhuquan. Oh, and that was very nicely done. Handspring front. Plenty of height on the front somersault. Just a quiet full spin. But they excel at these very difficult leaps where you take your head and eyes right off the beam. Oh, that 
Oh, that's a lovely combination. Side summy, full turning, tuck jump, full turning, straight jump. Three very unusual elements linked across the beam, which makes it really quite hard. You haven't got sight of the beam at all. And another very good combination of three elements. This is how they build this big difficulty. It's only point ones, but if you do it three or four times, you're quickly adding on to your D score. Little pause before the finish. Good triple twist. Well, a very clean routine. I'm not sure that she won't lose a bit of deductions for not quite enough artistry. Mm -hmm. it's, very, it, it's quite sort of static, but the acrobatics of the leaps were ex exceptional. Difficulty high, Jo Chow Chin, actually second highest qualifier of all the gymnasts on beam at these World Championships. Uh, to Italy uh, and floor, Ariana is the just check she's the last to go i think of the italian team just 16 years old first senior year not a place for a debut no bigger stage Nice control. Settles into the routine. Big opening tumble. Showing flexibility there and strength within the leap. The walk out, round off flake powers into the double back. Changing music, changing tempo. There's a real emphasis on the gymnast working with the music. Just a little bit of a fumble there with the footwork. Two and a half twist to finish. Did well to stay inside the floor. Great start to a World Championships for just 16 years of age. Yeah, very mature, considering she's just come up from the juniors, Chris. Oh, yeah, very good indeed. She was just not quite so precise on some of the landings. The judges really, well, as we saw with the men yesterday, they will uh, did that quite a bit. So, like, that big step, that... 0.3, maybe 0.5 deduction, which is, you know, a very big deduction for what feels like a minor, minor mistake. So there's gymnasts just warming up now on the next piece of apparatus. This is uh, not a competition at all, but uh, the chance maybe to bring in um, Beth. I don't know if you can hear me back in the studio. Oh, hang on, Beth. We've got Rebecca Andrade here up on beam. We'll speak to you in a sec. Oh, just a little bit of a hesitation as she landed that mount. I'm sure she would have wanted to join all those three leaps, and that's where the bonuses would be gained. Good on to the flip layout, though. Very secure. Free walk over. And again, a little hesitation into the jump. Very elegant and strong gymnast. You can see just how narrow this beam is on this angle. Oh, but that was much better. She got the free cartwheel, the jump, and then the flip all joined. Yeah. 
and gymnasts have to uh, do two jumps joined and she did two fairly simple ones there to ensure that she'd got that in. These requirements are all worth half a mark each, so you have to fulfill them. Here comes the dismount, super double pike. That's what we would call a fighting routine. And there's the score, 13.133. So just an opportunity then, Beth, to catch up with you, George and me. Um, what went wrong for her on bars? Um, yeah, so when she was going in for her uh, shap, the, as she was putting her feet on, unfortunately, it was just a bit too late, and um, with that, obviously, has the repercussion of pinging off. So um, very unfortunate for her, because we know that she can do that bar routine cleanly. Yeah, well, Great Britain now a, a mark uh, behind France, who are in third. Um, the United States leading, uh, knowing what you know about what they've got to come. Um, is it possible to get back onto that medal podium, do you think? It's always possible. I mean, we've seen it, we've seen it numerous times before with other countries fighting back. The British men's team did it last year. Um, obviously, beam is the crucial piece now. It's, uh, it'll be make or break for this piece of apparatus and uh, the British team we know can do very clean, um, cleanly executed routines and um, this is where we really need them. Did you expect um, Team USA to be more than a mark and a half ahead of China at this point? Um, again, we know that China's weak apparatus is vault and floor. Um, they've obviously done bars and beam, which are their high-scoring pieces of apparatus. So um, in, in that respect, the fact that they've started on their stronger pieces is not such a surprise. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how Team USA get on on beam. So we'll rejoin the action now. Uh, Lian Wong is up on to beam, Chris. She's their lead-off person. We saw that in team qualification. Oh! Oh, well, that was a very uncharacteristic mistake. Her foot really didn't get on the beam at all. Now you have 30 seconds to get back on. She's on. safely through the two jumps. Here comes the acrobatic series, very well controlled. These gymnasts do train these moves so many times, and in training they do sometimes fall off, so they get used to getting back on and carrying on. It's something you practice. And those were two very well executed spins. But after a fall like that, you are a little bit hesitant. There's the side summary, much better landing. So she's building her difficulty, free walk over, and she goes into the split jump, but she's just a little bit unsettled. You can see that, a wobble here and there. Good strong round off, twisting dismount. Well, that's not what we expected from USA, I have to say. And she, that really was a very unsettled routine. Yeah, well, it's rattled Leanne Wong. I mean, I wondered if she... Oh, yes, yeah, you could see there just that slip. She took a real direction. clattering on the beam there. She yeah. did so well to get back on and compose herself. Unbelievable. Well, we're joined now, Maureen Boyer. The French are up in medal contention at the moment. Can they stay there? Well, they're going to fight for every pin. Tenth, a little bit scrappy in the legs. Good half turn there. Nice and high in the pipe, Jaeger somersault. Stoop fall a little bit late, straight into the dismount. While she's through, it wasn't the most cleanest of routines, but uh, 
They've definitely got eyes on the prize. Awarded the difficulty there, though, but down on the execution, yes. you reckon, Chris? I reckon Went for so. broke. Yeah, went for broke. I reckon so. I mean, the French team, if De Santos can work her best, are really able to give two more scores, you know, to make them competitive. Esposito of Italy next to go on vault. Looking for a slightly easier vault here of uh, 4.6, so the whole vault marked out of 14.6. One and a half twist in the Uchenko. Very nice vault. Obviously not so high a difficulty of some we've seen, but uh, plenty of height and flight from the top of the platform. Well, she's got the difficulty elsewhere. She qualified seventh uh, for the all-round final. Well, we saw a great beam from her for 14-1. Mm. So uh, she is really an all-round gymnast. And this ball is technically lovely, isn't it? Yes. One and a half twist. So, yeah, into the nines for execution. 13.7 the score. Yeah, one of the best executed vaults we've seen today. Yeah, Italy were in fifth. So... What do the judges have to say for Lian Wong's beam? Different story to the usual jovial Team USA we see, but it's to be expected after a clatter like that. Absolutely, and a lot of pressure on these USA gymnasts. They are expected to come and, you know, there's a, there's a big presence on social media, Absolutely. all about them, and uh, they'll you know, they, they're under a lot of pressure. It's not clear cut that they're going to take gold here. Well, I'll put my uh, money on it today. I'm <laughs> feeling I'm pretty confident, even with that mistake. Uh, I mean, they've got two great gymnasts to go, and, and, and Beam is such a horrible piece of apparatus in the sense that, you know, the best in the world. It's, it's 10 centimetres wide. It's so difficult you can practice and practice. Uh, in training. Well, 11.7 is a long way off what Lian Wong would have expected. Obviously, value of the move and execution down. So, Georgia May Fenton next up on beam. Big test here for George. Well done with the mount. This is also a very difficult element. Double spin. Well done, George. Nailed that. Has to make this acrobatic series free cartwheel layout. Oh, oh, and she just didn't give it quite enough, did she? Just held back a little bit. Very difficult when you've had a disappointment on the previous piece to then. But come on, George. Keep your concentration. She can be so elegant and beautiful on this apparatus. Here's the squat spin. One, two, three. Very nicely done indeed. Lovely rhythm and style. And really, she has got the sort of presence that uh, gets good artistry scores. She moves the whole body and is very elegant with the arms. Now, she needs this big dismount and she needs to focus hard on the end of the beam. Up into the double tuck. Well done, George. Shame about that acrobatic series because it was straight. She just didn't give it quite enough power. Mm. It's the third. Big deduction for Great Britain, but you can see, I mean, they've got the difficulty, they've got the execution, and the thing is, they're going all out. They're putting everything they can into this. Marine Boyer, a 12.866 for bars. These scores are hard earned today. Zhao, Zhao Zhao Chin of China onto floor. Now this is a piece of apparatus that China have struggled with over recent years to get the difficulty. 
Oh, that was very well controlled. Very graceful gymnast. Superb technique, high. Just the double back somersault in the tuck position. Good high leg in the spin. A slower tempo of routine than some we've seen. Beautiful technique there, the triple twist, punch front, somersault. Oh, lovely leap. Showing fantastic flexibility. Lovely, two and a half into the pike front. Well, a vast improvement for China on the floor. I think that'll score quite well. Well done. George Chao Chin is the Chinese vault champion. And they're a mark and a half behind the USA that have seen what's happened on beam and they're taking their chance. Well, this was a very impressive final tumble, two and a half pike front. I was sure she was tumbling out of the floor area then and she stalled it Extension. and took it straight up. 12.2 for Georgia Mir Fenton on beam. Great Britain dropped down to seventh at the moment. Well, we talked about this underlying pressure on Team USA and you can sense it here with Shailise Jones. There's a lot riding on this beam routine for Team USA. Very well done with those first two leaps. Very difficult standing Arabian. It looked slightly offline, but she certainly pulled it on two big jumps so here comes the series backflip two flips and the straight somersault oh she had to fight very hard to hold that Gymnasts have to work low to the beam. They have to put at least two parts of their body onto the beam. She's very elegant and very precise with all her arm movements. There's the free cartwheel. The best eight moves are added together to give you your D score. So you want to be only counting D or more difficult D or E moves in that total and you have to add in the dismount as well so she'll be wanting a big dismount here it comes one flip two flips up into the double pike somersault just when usa needed oh. it that was a great performance the level of difficulty chris the level of risk that she took to keep her team on top of the world was quite something what a class act she is what a very confident performance as well that big combination in the middle. Joe <laughs> Chow Chin scores 13.833. That's a massive score for China. Huge. Second for now. Rebecca Andrade now taking to floor. And brace yourselves because this will be beautiful. <laughs> Big opening tumble, straight front, full twist into pulling back out. She just oozes confidence. Full twist in, double straight. It's not just about the tumbles. 
full of panache. Brilliant control there. The leg right up in the spin. Double layout right to the spot. And again, look at the height on the leaps. Moves in time with the music. Gets the crowd going high in the double fight back. Wow, oh, sensational performance. It was, wasn't it just samba-tastic from Andrade? And everyone's forgiven for having a little dance to that one. Loved it. Oh, absolutely fabulous. She sold it completely. Next up, on bars. Melanette. Dos Santos from France. Now this is a big routine. Super shot, uprise into full pirouette. Toe on, Nabaeva, beautiful straight somersault down to that low bar. Another shot. Uprise into the half turn, just a little bit late on that turn, but the somersault down was super. And the chap up to the high bar. Watch this dismount. Up it goes. Double straight with full twist. Fantastic bar work from DeSantis. Absolutely thrilled for her. Well, the team from France are having the competition of their lives. Look at the height there. Again, the shot. Sorry, the pack salto down to the low bar. I mean, she's promised so much for so long, but it's uh, looking good. Charlize Jones, 13.6. Good beam score. Yes, but she would be hoping for a 14. That The wobbles that she, you could see she had to fight to stay on, and the score reflects that a bit. Better than a fall. But much better than a fall. Alice D'Amato from Italy takes to the vault. And huge power, flips on, lovely, tight and well controlled. You can see her delight. And to be honest, that's one of the best vaults I've seen her do in the last few competitions. Well, it's hotting up at the top of the table. These teams are going toe for toe. The mark up, 14.166. Good in execution there, Chris. Very good, 9-1. Six, six for Rebecca Andrade on floor and well deserved. Yeah, 14.666 for Andrade. Were you dancing as well, Beth? Do you know what? That was a, <laughs> she could not have done that routine any better. The, the choreography, the artistry, and also the tumbles, every single landing mm. absolutely nailed. I mean, we've seen her perform uh, to an amazing standard, but I think she really pulled it out there tonight. Do you think this could be the first team medal for Brazil? I mean, ever? they're looking strong, um, and they've got vault. Um, to finish on, which uh, compared to one of the more technical pieces such as bars or beam, um, it's probably for gymnasts a more preferred apparatus to, to finish on. Yeah. As far as Team USA are concerned, what, what are you sensing within that team? Because obviously there's, there's jitters in there. We saw Leanne Wong yeah. take a, an absolute clatter on beam, but then Shirley's Jones comes back and hammers that beam. It just shows this three up, three to count. It, it really can change. The competition is flipping 
the it whole is. time. There's, yeah. there's falls coming left, right and centre, unfortunately. But um, then you've got your teammates standing there going, do you know what, I've got your back, I'll get back up and um, do yeah. a routine for you. And that, that beam routine uh, was class. And three big deductions for Great Britain. And, we're, you know, four pieces. It's not a lot of time, is it, to make that up? But, yeah, Georgia May hasn't had a great time, has she, to be yeah, honest? Yeah, unfortunately, we, we spoke about it at the beginning. They had um, a really good qualification and unfortunately tonight just hasn't been the night she she did a fantastic routine literally just on that three mm. cartwheel into the layout almost went underneath itself didn't have enough rotation so obviously had to take the step forward but they've um, got the difficulty haven't they this is has. the thing they're pushing it all of them yeah. are really and when you're pushing it at this level in the world final yeah. the, you've only got one option haven't you you've got to go difficult yeah you have for the for the team to be getting that medal they know they have to use the level of difficulty that they've got yeah okay uh, well that's really all we've got time for here on uh, BBC two but uh, don't worry because the action is going to continue over on BBC three so why don't you all uh, grab your TV remotes and we'll see you there in just a few minutes time so from all of us here on BBC two it's bye bye Well, hello and welcome to continuing coverage of the women's team final from the World Gymnastics Championships in Antwerp. Now, if you've been with us over on BBC Two, welcome back. If you're just joining us, uh, you've missed Simone Biles in action in her first international competition since the Tokyo Olympics. And Beth Tweddle has been watching along with me. It hasn't really been a happy time for Great Britain, who at uh, the way down the standings after three big deductions, Beth. Yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we had a fall on vault with Jessica um, and then Georgia May Fenton has, has not had her best day um, with a fall on bars and beam, but um, we know they've got the difficulty. Unfortunately, mm. the execution hasn't quite played off tonight, um, but you never know. Three up, three to count. We've, the competition is still going. We've seen people chasing those. Absolutely, medals. and with three up and three to count, the pressure's on Team USA uh, with a fall from Leanne Wong. So it's in the hands of the great Simone Biles, who's about to step up on beam. Here she is. Uh, but anyhow, all eyes to the other end of the arena. Bit of pressure on this young lady now, but she oozes confidence up on beam. Simone Biles. Another one with this fantastic leap on the end. Ooh, but she didn't quite get around that change their calf. So it wasn't a fall, but she won't get credited for that element. Super control on the squat spin. No hesitation at all. She's in charge of the apparatus, isn't she? The backflip, one layout, two layouts. And that's how you've got to be. You have to be that positive and that strong. Fantastic core strength needed. And Simone Biles certainly has got that. Secure landing. She's worked fast with wonderful pace. It shows mastery on the apparatus. Here comes the dismount, which for me is unbelievable. The two flips into the full twisting double back. That I've never seen anybody else who can dismount like that. No, it's phenomenal. And she actually does that with a double twist, which is a skill named after her. I think this is one of the best triple spins on the beam. And she, you're right, she has a real pace about her routine. And I always think that 
you know, with a piece of paper just like Beam, it's easier said than done, but you really have to attack it with confidence. And if you try and hold back, that's when the problems occur. And well, that look says that there's some interesting stuff going on here because although she's come back, all eyes are on her, the world's media, all she's trying to do here is get Team USA a gold medal. Yeah, I mean, she knew that wasn't her best performance, but ultimately they needed a clean routine and that's what she's gone out and produced. And she has got huge difficulty. Christine spoke about that dismount. Mm. There's very few gymnasts that can basically use the beam as the floor. That, that, that tumbling uh, dismount is, it, is hard. She's looking so comfortable though, isn't she? Yeah. Even in this cauldron of pressure, <laughs> she's just dealing with it. Yeah, I think she thrives off it and she's spoken about the return, how much she's enjoying um, her gymnastics now. Yeah, a 14-3, I can tell you. I've just seen that just flash up. 14-3 for Simone Biles uh, on beam, which I'm sure will be enough to keep them ahead. But you've got China that are chasing, you've got Brazil that are in with a chance. France. Potentially uh, their first ever uh, medal. But let's cross back to beam because here is Great Britain's Jessica Gadarova. And the flip on the beam mount. She starts with her work low to the beam. Oh, just a little hesitation there. Two good leaps, though. The change leg into the change leg half. Now, we've seen Jess compete this really very well. Very nice triple as well. Needs to be strong and positive here. Strong on that free walkover successful with the two jumps the combination of three elements good for her score now the all-important acrobatic series here it comes the backflip and there well done jess well fought you could see how offline she was free cartwheel again She's another gymnast who works with good pace and uh, always looks in control now. Big final dismount, round off double pike. That's the way you do a double pike. Well done, Jessica. It wasn't without uh, problems, but you overcame them. Very gritty performance, and I'm just pleased from the start of the competition. Not caused any problems with her ankles. Thought of Thor's daughter for Netherlands on vault. Great approach and technician. The double twist. Not just the same height we've seen popping off the top. And you can really see the pike down on landing, can't you? Yeah, Thor's daughter, the uh, third of the vaulters from the Netherlands to go. So that's their uh, third piece of apparatus finished with. Just one to go for all the gymnasts after this rotation. Nice height in the flight, but she just had to pike down. And you see how her chest was pointing to the floor. That's where the execution marks come from. 13.7. France are having a real competition. Barrette Sharpie. She's in the, uh, in the Bars final as well. A lot of quality on show in this team final. Good pirouette to start, and she goes straight into the Shap half. Oh, this is on off tape, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Well, she's still on, or there. She was going rather slow. Yeah, apologies for the uh, the, the breaking in footage here. We're not in control of the pictures, so you know, broadcasting back in the UK, these pictures being beamed from Antwerp, so apologies if we're not getting to see the gymnasts that you want to see as well. Well, there's a warm-up now. 
I can tell you that Jessica Gadarova scored a 13.5. And we'll have confirmation of the standings for you after the three pieces of apparatus. We have a score on B for Jessica Gadarova. Jessica's score has been counted in there now, so it looks like the United States uh, lead China with France and Italy. I think there's some more scores to come in, actually, yeah. I'm going to say the fall from China on the floor of a mark is going to be very costly. They put them within a mark. However, mm. USA have got a very strong piece to finish. So cool to have you here. And where are the Americans? Uh, Flavia Sarajeva scores a 13.9, which will move Brazil up the standings. So. Van Paul of the Netherlands, one of their three vaulters. We saw their last vault go, so this one, another routine that's uh, just been played in for us here. Well, a 4.6 on difficulty. The one and a half twist in the Uchenko. Not just as difficult as the previous gymnast, but I think execution was a lot better. A lot more height and flight. Pops off the top of the platform. It certainly does. She's a bouncy gymnast. Gymnasts of the second group, your warm up. Lovely block there. And easily round the one and a half twist. Van Paul scores a 13.4. Seventh for Netherlands. This is the rotation and uh, so the Great Britain now have moved to uh, floor. That'll be their final piece of apparatus. And Beth, as a, a floor world champion, you know that uh, Great Britain have a great shout here. Um, a good piece for them in qualification. Uh, they're in sixth at the moment. United States leading. China second. France are in third. And Brazil just a point, uh, point one behind France. Um, but a chance for Great Britain to make up a few marks on the last piece. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we've got um, Jessica, who we know can score very uh, high on this piece of apparatus. But as I mentioned earlier, Brazil are moving over to the vault, which can be a, a very high scoring piece of apparatus. Uh, France are moving to beam, and that is uh, very difficult to get the high scores on. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be down to the last routines. So what you're saying then is it's Brazil's um, high scoring vault versus the uh, very difficult the beam for France. So your thoughts are with Brazil on getting the medal and making history, yes? I think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be wonderful uh, for that to, to see that and uh, see Andrade get that gold, Chris, as well. Oh, it would, and uh, Flavia. I say gold, uh, I mean a medal. <laughs> yes, and Flavia as well. I mean, they're, they're a very experienced team. Yeah. Um, you know, their they're, they're youngest gymnast is 18 and their eldest is 32 in the team. So they've got... and. Uh, all but the 18 year old are in their 20s and one age 32 so they're a team of lots of experience they know how much it would mean to everybody in brazil to all the coaches to come home with a world team medal yes absolutely well we'll all be celebrating for brazil we'll be sambering in man <laughs> it's sambering in salford <laughs> this evening chris <laughs> well that has been known you do a pretty decent samba. oh stop it <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, the stage is set then for the uh, the fourth and final rotation in this women's team final. And Ruby Evans of Great Britain takes to the floor as the first of three final routines. And Ruby competes for Wales. First time a Welsh gymnast has been in the women's team since 2006. And here she starts with straight front into two and a half, very nicely performed. And watch this second tumble. Big, strong round off flip, double straight, beautifully landed.
Great height on the leap. Another impressive forward combination. Twisting forwards. Lovely little pause there. Fingers down the leg. One final tumble. Big whip back into double tuck. Well done, Ruby. Fabulous routine from Ruby in her first year as the senior, first major championships. What a launch. She did superb and what a job she's done for Great Britain. Super vaulting, super floor work and a valuable team member. Very valuable. Well, Jade Barbosa, you were saying the depth of experience in this Brazilian team. Barbosa, 32 years old. She was third in the Olympics back in 2010. So in the Beijing vault final, and watch this. Well, it's a big vault for difficulty. Oh, look at that double twist in Yuchenko. I oh. think this piece of apparatus is going to push Brazil up into the medals, and what a result that would be. It's got to be a medal. It's got to be their first ever team medal in gymnastics, surely. Well, they were fourth in the last World Championships, just pipped by Canada, and uh, they've performed sensational tonight. Two to go for them. They'll be over very quickly. Italy and bars. Their competition, France, have gone to beam, and we know what beam, <laughs> beam is like. Oh, no, I'd rather no. be going to vault. <laughs> well, Esposito will be the first up for the Italians. So with that simpler vault, but beautifully executed. Such a stylish gymnast. She scored a 13.666 in qualification. So Manila Esposito for Italy. Very nice start. The toe on into the straight somersault. Immediately down to the low bar, she's got a connection so far. Awful turning pack, a little bit offline, but she worked out of it beautifully. And the Shab half turn, transfers her up to the high bar. The full pirouette that has to be included. Little shuffle along the bars, turn into the uh, invert swings. Oh, and she just caught, and oh, what a fight because she caught her feet on the low bar on the downswing. That's a 0.5 deduction for hitting the low bar, but she did so well to still land that dismount, didn't she? Well, this was very close to the low bar, actually. Full twist down, such a difficult skill, and you're right, Christine, she gave the bottom bar a big clatter there, and, and she pulled in the dismount. Barbosa scores a 13.933, a huge vault exactly what Brazil needed as she landed them on a medal. Well, two more to go. Ruby scores 13.233 for Great Britain for her floor routine. That's her job done. Excellent. Uh, excellent score for Ruby, oh. well up on qualification. Relishing this experience. So, Lian Wong takes the floor. USA, the highest qualifiers, can they keep the golden skull? She want to make amends after the fall from beam. Oh, big opening tumble, I think she just about stayed in the floor, double twisting, double back. Big double layout. I 
think the American women get a lot of harsh criticism on their floor routines being all power and not enough art to strike. I think it's a bit unjust at times. Lovely control there. Huge double bike, struggling just to control these landings a little bit. It's through, it's another solid routine for Team USA. And what a team job it is for Leanne Wong because she's in replacing uh, the injured Jocelyn Robertson. So she wasn't expecting to do floor today. Esposito scores a 13.4 after that clatter with the bottom bar. She'll be happy with that. Flavia Sereva of Brazil next to go. Two volts stand between Brazil and the first ever team medal. Oh, such a powerful worker on the floor and explosive on the vault. Double twist. And they know the medal's well within their grasp. <laughs> it's good enough. It's good enough, got but there's still be. one more to go. Come on, let's not get too excited too early. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and she was just going to stay on her feet, wasn't she? She didn't mind whether it was one or two steps, but fabulous. Better than the first vault, actually, I think. Andrade has allowed herself a little smile as well. She doesn't want to celebrate too early. <laughs> well, she's got one of the best vaults in the competition. Leanne Wong did very well there, especially stand coming mm. in unexpectedly and after the disappointment of the uh, beam. Of the beam, yes. We're well, speaking of beam. Uh, it's France, and they've got it all to do here. Three routines stand between them and the podium. Well, cleanly through that first length. Didn't quite make some of the combinations, but uh, she's bound to feel the pressure at this point. Oh, very nice. Round off straight back somersault. And well negotiated the free cartwheel. Now, this is just a little bit slower than some of the gymnasts we've seen. And that's where the judges deduct a little bit for lack of rhythm and mastery. But that was unusual and very nice forward roll to a straddle position. Very impressive, these gymnasts with their side summaries. They land blind. Well, it's been a strong, positive performance so far. Needs a strong, positive dismount, and that's it. Well, France, are, France are fighting all the way. What a fight they're putting in. Mosek Rima celebrates with her teammates. Well, there's big pressure on uh, Rebecca Andrade on this last vault, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. relax, guys. Just the weight of history on her shoulders, yeah. Greg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she took the all-round title last year and made history then. Sereva scores a 13.833 to reduce the pressure. Chu Chen. Now, China. Finishing on vault. Now, this is not a big scoring piece for them, so they need all the execution they can muster. It's only a 4 4. Full twist in the Sukahara. 
and it was a well executed vault it's just the piece that they struggle with when you know they're very slight gymnasts and you've really got to generate power off the top of the vaulting platform 13.1 Yes, it's a, it's a, a di not a bad vault really for such a little girl, for such a little gymnast. She's barely as high as the vault, tall as the vault. Well, and the majority of these Chinese gymnasts are in their senior de debut year as well, so uh, it's a big law. Onto the world stage for them. Lian Wong scores 13.166. Work to do, but they've got a little bit of a buffer. <laughs> Marine Boyer. She was uh, fourth on this piece of apparatus at last year's World Championships and fourth at the Olympics as well. She needs a big score here. She's looking for something in the region of 13 and a half. And she's usually a very solid beam worker, good at the leaps, starts with good rhythm and poise. Oh, and another fabulous round off straight back. It's a very difficult combination. Smoothly with the free walk over into the two jumps. Good artistry, good body work here. Strong in that side somersault. Here comes the section close to the beam. I don't think they've had a mistake yet, France. They are doing everything humanly possible to try and get this medal. And what a thing to witness, as all eyes are focused on Rebecca Andrade. A 5-6 difficulty. She's perfection on this piece. This is a sensational vault. Oh, oh, look oh. at that! That has just landed Brazil on their first ever team medal. Absolutely phenomenal. That's how you do that vault. Well, what a performance all the way around. Her floor routine was full of celebration and it continues. My word, they're going to be partying in Brazil tonight. That's still the best vault, isn't it? It's got the greatest pop off the top. Shailise Jones. The penultimate gymnast to close things off for Team USA on floor. She's very elegant, but very powerful as well. Oh, double twisting, double back. She goes for the big triple spin. You have to hold the leg right up at horizontal at the end. Full twisting front into a huge double tuck. Oh, but she steps out. Very elegant, beautiful mood music. 
but hugely explosive, full twisting, double back. Well, a very polished routine, very elegant, very supple. And so emotive to watch. I mean, that's the, she's so emotional, isn't she, as a gymnast? Mm. You watch her all the way around, and I just think she's a class act. I really do. Yes, overshadowed a little bit by Simone Biles, but really a very special gymnast in her own right. 100%. She is that and definite improvement on the artistry and choreography and the routine. Unbelievable stamina as well, all the way around, just the difficulty levels, incredible. Andrade scores a 14.9, it's a huge score to finish on, but there's a lot of gymnastics left to go, and what does the future hold for France? Marine Boyer scores a 13.733. It's a big beam score. Can they edge out mm, China? They're still only four, though. This will be significant. Zhang Ching Yin has it all to do. 4-4. Four, four. She needs execution here. Well, they're going to need a bigger vault than that. Another full twist in the Sukhara. And, and this is the problem. You can't go to this piece of apparatus when people are doing fives and get four fours as clean as you do them. This is going to cost them dearly. 13.166. Now, if France can hold it together, they'll get their first medal since 1950. At the graphic saying second, is that second to uh, Brazil? Brazil. France need a 13-2, probably, which is doable. Yeah. Or 13s. Yeah, they could mm. do this. This yeah. could be, well, what a turn up for the box to see Brazil up there on the medal France, podium and France for the first time since 1950. Shailise, you deserve a smile. Come on. Yes. Such a joy to watch this. Team USA. But You're uh, right, Chris. So it would be a lot closer if they didn't have Biles oh, yes. in the yeah. room, in the yeah. team. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, they, it, it would be close because the other gymnasts have all made little errors. And if you think you take Biles out, you're bringing somebody less good than anyone in the team in. It would be a real fight. Yeah, she definitely adds two to three marks to their team mm. performance. But that was a great routine, Matt. You like that? I could tell you were jumping oh. up and down in your chair. Yeah. The judges are taking the time with this one. She's got a few spins and things where it's a little bit variable as to whether they would count, if we're honest about it. Mm. Mm, but this wow. is a big routine for De Santos as well. Absolutely huge. They don't come much bigger than this. Melanie de Jesus de Santos, she scored 12.733 in qualification, so she needs to go some to get it up around 13, which is what they need. Well, that was a very impressive pike front somersault start. Very confident on the layout, somersault, and the, her whole appearance so far has been confident. Super smooth on those leaps. And very composed on linking those elements. She needs to concentrate on the spin. She does. She's a gymnast who makes gymnastics look easy. Nicely up on the free cartwheel. Good little touches of dance.
lovely rhythm. It's been a great routine. Great dismount needed. Double pie. Oh! Oh! De Santos, I have never seen her work like that before. What an Fantastic. unbelievable beam routine. Now all eyes will be on the scoreboard. She needs 13.335. Is it possible? Yes, yeah, for sure, for sure. For that sure. That for that, sure. Christine, oh, that's no, the no. best routine I yeah. think she's done on beam. In fact, the best all-round competition. Very high, 13. Well, 13.566 for Shailise Jones. It's over to Simone Biles. Well, closing the competition up for Great Britain is Jessica Gadarova, three times European floor champion. She qualified second for the floor final here and is the current world floor champion. Come on, Jess, finish on a high. Big new tumbles this season. This is the big new one. Powers in. Double twisting, double straight. So expressive. Another big tumble coming here. Full twisting, double straight. Huge tumbles, great landings. Lovely extension through the feet and ankles. Focus on the spin. Now, one big final tumble. She hasn't done a forward element. Here it comes, full twist in front, into big double back. Wonderful routine from Jess. She's leaving everybody clear that she's out to fight for this floor title. Absolutely, and we'll see her again in the all around. We'll see her again many times, actually, in these World yes. Championships. <laughs> She had a brilliant, brilliant qualification competition. So, Jess, well done. It wasn't Great Britain's day today, but a wonderful opportunity to feel that floor and to get out in front of this crowd and take all of that into the gymnastics and see what she can achieve as an individual over the coming days. Well, we've seen a, a different side to Jess, actually, and, and this is what it's all about, being able to pick yourself back up from the first apparatus to come back and knuckle in and put in a performance like that is fantastic. All eyes on the scoreboard. Have France got a medal? Well, we've still got Simone Biles to go, so USA are still to go. It's 14! It's huge! They've gone into second! So is that second behind Brazil? Yeah, so they've gone for a bronze. Simone Biles left to go, one routine left, but Brazil know that they're ahead of France. There's only the USA that can beat them now, but Brazil have never, ever had a medal in the team final. They've got one now. The question is, what colour will it be? It looks like it's silver, it looks like it's France bronze, but there's one more routine left to go. What a women's competition we've been treated to tonight. It might not have gone the way for Great Britain, but these teams have performed out of their skin. Oh, what a, this is everything you want from a team final. It really is the camaraderie, the love for each other. The passion, the whole, you know, there's so much goes into this. So much effort, dedication. Wow. Well, gymnastic fans around the world have been favourites of Flavia. 
and also De Santos, and they've all has failed at the final hurl. But hurling. what a huge score from Great Britain's Jessica Gadarova, 14-5-3-3. Boards well. But the team from Brazil have really moulded together. Gel today, absolutely, absolutely. Well, amongst all the celebration, all eyes are on Simone Biles. The first opportunity for a golden moment of this comeback. We're all with you, Simone. And she needs over 13-3. This is tumbling from another level. Double layout with the full twist. Sky high. Front walk out. Double twisting, double back. As easy as you like. So composed, so refined, so confident. Lovely height now, oh, just a little bit of a, a wobble. Another double layout with the half turn, that's the Biles. Has owned this competition, owned this piece of apparatus. Double layout for the final tumble, as high as you like. Well, that proves it. Biles is back. Surely another goal for Team USA. No question about it. A standing ovation from the world of gymnastics. All eyes were on her. All the gymnasts were up and looking. And do you know what that routine was? It was full of smiles, and those weren't smiles of performance. I think those were absolute smiles of joy. She is back, and back with an absolute bang. Yes, she loves performing. She's really delighted to be back doing what she loves and what she's so good at. And, uh, well, she, we, we've seen a lot of great tumbling, but this is just on another level. And look at the efficiency, double straight, and then just the half turn to land. To me, that, look at that face there. That, to me, says it all. It really does. Oh. Do you know, she's got a pair of earrings on there that were bought by her mum after she won the first all-around championship title in Antwerp. Oh, really? Yeah, in oh, Antwerp. Fantastic. And she fantastic. says, I'm looking, what are you looking forward to doing? Buying more diamonds. Well, treat yourself, <laughs> Simone. Treat yourself. Oh, that was magic on every level, wasn't it? It really was. And actually, it's been a magic competition today. I know for Great Britain, right from the start, really, when, when Jess missed the vault, it was going to be an uphill struggle. But they kept fighting and they kept working hard at it. But this is wonderful to see such a, a mature team. And great to see France as well. You know, they've been in the doldrums a bit for the last few years and wonderful to see them fight back. Well, this is just huge for France, it really is. And just, well, I guess the Brazil team came here full of hope. They thought it was possible. I bet they never imagined maybe Silva was in, in, you know, in the running, but my word, have they performed out of their skins. Brazil have performed well in the Pan Am Games earlier in the year. I think they will have come with a little bit of belief and, and knowing that they're all, they can do their routines, they know their work, they're not speculating. You know, you've done those routines for a long time by the time you're 25. And they, they've all <laughs> suffered a little bit with inconsistency, yeah. certainly Flavia. Oh, and uh, yeah. they've hit, and same with De Santos for the French. They're the two people that are significant. 15 1 6 6. It's a golden score for Simone Biles, a golden score for Team USA. That is their seventh title in a row. And my word, I bet it means a lot to Simone Biles.
And history has been made by that team from Brazil. And France, France have a bronze medal. The first time they've been up on the podium since 1950. But they're going to be partying in Brazil. Oh, the samba started already. <laughs> Huge congratulations. It's USA 1, Brazil 2, and France 3. Well, I think, Christine, I, I've, I've said it all along. I think there's been two instrumental gymnasts tonight, Flavia and Dos Santos, really, for yes. those teams. Yes. Because in the past, they, they have been inconsistent. Yeah. They pulled it together, and uh, gymnastic fans around the world will be so happy for that team result. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Dos Santos, we have seen since she was a little young gymnast, so full of promise and so often fall apart even in qualification she wasn't very good she hasn't made bars final or anything but uh, all hail usa 167 they're calling melanie over as well well she trains now with simone you know i've been saying uh, if you want to be the best train with the best and uh, it certainly paid off because the last competition we was at the santos uh, pulled out she wasn't just ready but she's really settled in and uh, and and just to go up at the end chris and score that beam 14 under that pressure yeah i mean that was just probably one of the most pressurized routines going to vault as the last piece of apparatus knowing you just need to get to your feet but beam i mean we've seen so many people fall off the beam not only De Santos, but the whole uh, French team were fa absolutely fantastic on beam because it's never easy to finish on beam. Yeah, and unfortunate for China, really. They, they've threw it away on the vault. We, they well, just haven't got the difficulty, they which is such a shame. They have to go back and rethink. If they want to win a medal on the world stage, they have to be able to vault. Mm. It's and four pieces of apparatus. Th the floor's significantly improved, I felt. Uh, and their big vaults are half-ons. You think for the slighter gymnasts, the Yuchenkos are the more favoured vaults. Uh, but, yeah, they've paid the price. But look at this team. They've, this is their ninth team title. Interesting to see what the... So, the head of 2.2 marks. And you're right. So, without Biles... It's uh, it's wide open. It's even, Stevens, yes. And, of course, last year without Biles, it was much more even. Gymnast, please prepare for the march out. OK, so just confirming United States of America retain the world title. Brazil make history with second place and France third. China into fourth. Italy fifth and Great Britain finish sixth. Not their best day. Netherlands seventh and Japan in eighth. Well, huge celebration for Team USA. Uh, Rebecca Andrade, um, what a moment for Brazil, you know, to come here to make history. You have that quality of those gymnasts. are just something else, really, when you think of the, 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 the experience that's within that Brazil team, Beth. Yeah, I mean, um, Jay Barbo, so you could see what it really meant to her when yes. she did that vault. I mean, I, I think her first World Championships was back in 2007. Yeah, um, that's amazing. And to to kind of be or be up there now winning that team medal and having gone through that journey it, yes. it, it did mean a lot to them we've we've always known they've had potential and um, but unfortunately it's never quite come off for them but tonight it, re yeah. it really did oh my word it really was it was a fantastic women's team final it's kind of everything you want really emotion is the highs the lows the difficulty didn't quite work out for uh, great britain but i think they'll, they'll learn a lot from this yeah every championships that you do um 
whether it's a success or whether it's a fa uh, not a failure, whether things don't quite go right, you, you're always learning. Every time you step on the competition floor, you, you're learning something new. And yes. um, obviously for Jessica, th that vault is brand new. So it, it takes time to bed it in and um, compete it under that different in that different pressure um, and yeah it just it didn't pay off today uh, they'll go away they'll work on it and they'll, they'll come back fighting yeah absolutely well if there's one gymnast that's taught us a lot about gymnasts journeys and the ups and downs and what you know what you all go through it's Simone Biles and you know she was just magic today she and, and there was moments where she was literally just doing this for her country and doing it for her friends that were amongst and it wasn't it wasn't about her at all was it yeah I mean to watch that floor routine I mean you can see here they they started over on vault and she we, we say she played safe for most people that's their first vault um, but for her it's uh, it's an incredible vault bars was always her weakest piece of apparatus and she's she's worked really hard with a coach to kind of put a, a routine together that really plays to the code and works to her strengths mm. uh, Christine mentioned that there is elements where there's deductions to take but the flight of the elements Elements, uh, the height of the flight elements is is incredible. It's quite incredible that her sort of her, her difficulty level hasn't dropped, and she's got the options, and she's sort of at the stage within her career where she's thinking, you know what, I'm going to play it easier here because it's going to, you know, it's going to allow some longevity later on in the competition. Yeah, I think she's always training a level above what she's competing, and that's yeah. why when you watch her, people actually think it looks easy. Now this dismount that we're about to see. I can tell you now, it is not easy at all. No. You, you would think she's on the floor, but the way she performs that skill. 14-3, uh, she got for that as well, and then she comes on to floor. To me, there's a lot of there was a lot of emotion in this. You know, 15-166 is a is a score, but it meant it meant a lot more to her to be out there and. There was no other gymnast competing. Everyone was watching it. Yeah, and you could see every now and then the little cheeky smiles. And um, this routine was it was it was it was fantastic. Oh yes, and the first of many more gold medals for Simone Biles. But something tells me she's not back for the medals. She's just back because she loves the sport and she loves that, you know, it helped make her who she is. I, th I think that is the, the impression that you mm. get. She absolutely mm. loves it. And you could see as soon as that result was coming up, it, it was about the rest of the team. She was pulling them all in. It's not just about her and never has been just yeah, about her. Yeah. And Melanie, um, d de Jesus de Santos de Santos, from yeah. the French team, she actually trains out in America with her now. Mm. And you could see at the end, she was shouting her over to kind of congratulate her, obviously with her coaches as well. So um, she really does encapsulate encapsulates yeah. the whole team yeah well a team that were down there enjoying that final performance but didn't have the best night of their competitive careers was of course uh, the British team and they're with Betty Glover right now Thanks, Matt. Yeah, I'm with the girls. Alice, I'm going to come to you first. It won't be the result that you all wanted, but now you've taken some time, how do you reflect on it? No, I think this competition, we've come out of it and we've learnt a lot from it. Um, I think because we had such a good year last year, we just wanted to come out here, enjoy it, get the experience of another World Championships, and I think we really did that, and I'm super, super proud of the girls. Ondine, what do you think? Um, we definitely had like a rocky lead up to this competition, but I think we definitely fought to the end, so that's kind of all that matters. When I spoke to you earlier in the week, you kind of said that your miss is consistent. You definitely proved that out there tonight, didn't you? Yeah, I know. well, I think I, I proved that tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we'll be seeing a bit of you later this week as well. Jess, um, it wasn't all to be for you uh, today out there. How do you reflect on it, in particular that vault performance? I'm just going to... Um... It's, it's, it's definitely a difficult one because you always want to do your best but sometimes you have to have these things to learn from it and I'm just going to come back stronger. And do you know what? You absolutely smashed that floor. How did you feel out there doing the floor? I just felt some fire in my belly and I just thought I'm going to do it for the team, I'm going to do it for my country and I just wanted to uh, show the best performance I can. How hard is it after sort of making a mistake to pick yourself up and then go again and make sure you nail the, the routines that are coming up? It is definitely hard because you just wish that you could go back and redo it, but 
it, it doesn't work like that and you just have to move on and forget about it. Well, we'll be seeing a lot more from you this week. Are you excited to get back out there? Yeah, I'm excited to get back out there and hopefully I can bring the improvements. And Ruby, let's come to you because this was your first World Championships. How did you find it? Um, it was an amazing experience to be out here with all these experienced gymnasts and obviously things didn't go exactly what I wanted but it was I had a fun it was great look you're only 16 years old what did you learn out there tonight um, that it definitely feels different in real life than watching it on telly <laughs> I can imagine <laughs> yeah um, obviously it's loud here obviously it's my biggest competition I've ever done yeah it was a shock but we'll be seeing plenty more of you I'm sure and also you're representing Wales because you're the first gymnast uh, to, to be out here at a Worlds for 17 years from Wales how does that feel um, it feels great like being from Wales obviously not a lot of us from Wales get to experience this but yeah good way <laughs> well well done girls uh, commiserations but congratulations on your performances out there thank you so much for speaking to us thank you so much for having us Oh, fantastic, Betty. Keep up the good work. What a quote that is from Ruby, eh? <laughs> it feels different than it looks on the telly. <laughs> Tell us about it. But it was just, it was so lovely just to see her enjoying that moment. And actually, then you got the flip side with Jessica, who obviously we've followed since she was, you know, ever so small, coming out of the juniors. And things have gone really well for Jessica throughout her career. And you get moments like this, which actually, you know, they teach you more sometimes, don't they, than the successes, Beth? Absolutely. You work so many hours every single day to, to go out there and have your 35 seconds or a minute mm. and a half to prove yourself. Mm. And it, it shows that they're human. Mistakes do happen. And um, Jess will take a lot from today and you could see the fact that she was able to pick herself straight up after that vault and go back yeah. out and perform um but you can see it really um affected has, her. Yeah, has affected yeah. her and um, yeah. here she just didn't get the height um, and it, but, I mean, that is uncharacteristic of her there, isn't it? It is, but it's a brand new vault. So she mm. used to do the half on with the half off. Um, so to then have an extra full twist to add in when you haven't got the height is it, it's difficult and it showed today. Um, bars, she's had to work really hard on and um, she has worked hard on over the past couple of years. Mm. Um, and you, you can see that in the score. Um, also reflects that and that's what's helping her be higher up in the, the all-around standings. But real metal that she's having to, you know, really call upon and dig deep for and you can see the Jessica of old there really relishing that and she did well on beam to hang on, didn't she? There was a couple of moments in yeah, there. Yeah, and that's where the experience comes in of being able to, to pull it back when you've got those small errors. Um, she's known for being um, a very artistic gymnast and um, you could see that throughout this routine. Mm. Yeah, and, and again, you know, 19 years old, but she's, you know, what, there's one of those moments we're talking about, you know, she's really packed in the difficulty at, at a young age, and yet now she's having, as you say, to even step up another level, because when you look at the level of Team USA, of Brazil now, you know, you, you, they've got to go there in order to be in with a shout of getting the medals. You, you're constantly pushing yourself, and you, especially this, with social media now, you can see what other countries are putting out there yeah. before you turn up to a competition. So, Is that helpful or does that pile on the pressure? Um, I, I guess it depends how much you watch it. Would um, you have liked it in your competitive career? I, I, would you have liked that? I used to like to keep things quite secretive until you actually got out there to compete. Um, but she really came into her own on the floor. Um, yeah. And she loves performing on the floor the the level of difficulty and the level of execution is it, it matches each other sometimes you get gymnasts putting the difficulty in but the execution doesn't match it yeah yeah well no doubt uh, jessica will be back in a uh, shout of medal contention in the coming days speaking of medals um the they're being handed out in the arena in antwerp so let's hand back to uh christine still and craig heap in the commentary box uh, for the women's team final medals and here we are, enjoying the presentation of the medals. Seventh times world champions, the USA. They've got a bit of a wounded soldier in there with, a, with them. 
but great smiles from them. It wasn't it wasn't quite as easy as it they thought it was maybe going to be. They had to fight right to the end, but uh, wonderful result for USA. And not just that, Christine, a great result for the world of gymnastics. Yeah, a great result and wonderful to see Simone Biles back leading the team. And how exciting to see Brazil with this team. We've watched this team, I, I can't tell you how long for, you know, the eldest is 32. We've watched her for 20, 20 years sort of thing. And uh, we've seen this team grow up, have lots of disappointments along the way. Um, they've often, Flavia particularly, has often been inconsistent and to see them all still fighting and working and working together and coming away with that silver medal is something very special, Craig. It certainly was. And uh, for France to pick up the bronze uh, was just absolutely phenomenal. These teams deserve to be on the podium. It certainly wasn't given to them. But they, they very much other than USA, the other two teams were the teams that worked consistently without mistakes. This format means that even if you don't do the very hardest routines, what you have to do is routines without major mistakes. And uh, Brazil and uh, France, we didn't see absolutely all of their routines, but the ones we saw certainly and didn't have mistakes ladies in. Ladies and gentlemen are handed out by Rosie Diamonds. FRG Executive Committee Member by Tom von Howard, Board Member of the Flemish Gymnastics Federation, and by Jean-Michel Seve. I actually think, Chris, actually, Belgian apart from Olympic the Americans Committee. that fell from beam, uh, the other two teams, all three gymnasts went through, and, and I think that was key to getting onto the podium. You can't afford to fall off that piece of apparatus. It's only because the Americans had such a dominant lead that they could carry the fall. That's right. And that is the key to this format. The qualification is a bit kinder. You have four gymnasts up and only the best three scores count. But uh, it's all about who can be the most consistent, who can deal with the pressure the best. And uh, these were the three teams that did that in this competition. So great result and actually it's wonderful to see the results mixed up a little bit uh, really any one of those teams in the top eight could have fought for one for silver and bronze yeah absolutely uh, please ladies and gentlemen stand up for the national anthem of the united states of america <laughs> USA world champions led by the most significant female gymnast of all time, Simone Biles. Brazil with history, silver medal and France the bronze, a fantastic night of competition. Huge congratulations to all of the medalists, including Simone Biles, and for her, that is world title number 20. <laughs> no, Beck, it's absolutely incredible, isn't it? It really is. Uh, but there's, there's a lot of gymnastics uh, still to come here uh, for you over the coming weeks. Uh, we're going to be back tomorrow night with the men's individual all-around final featuring Grip Prince Jake Jarman and James Hall. Uh, that's going to be on BBC Two for you from 7 p.m.
p.m. and the, ac the action actually starts uh, a little bit earlier, uh, so there's uninterrupted coverage on BBC iPlayer from half past uh, six. And iPlayer is the place to go if you miss anything over the next few days, uh, because it's available anytime. You can catch up with the winners of the BBC Green Sports Awards, which were announced uh, on Monday, and a special documentary also on uh, the iPlayer for you. But uh, yeah, so just very quickly, Beth, looking ahead to tomorrow, men's all around. Uh, Jake Jarman qualified fourth and James Hall in fifth. So brilliant storming qualification from the boys. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. And um, w we know it didn't quite go to plan for James last night, um, but he will have gone away. He will have reflected on that and he'll be ready to come out. And Jake, um, he's, he's got a good chance. He has. He's got a very, very good chance. And uh, no doubt we'll all be watching. Hopefully you will be joining us uh, too. But Beth, big thanks for your company this evening and to Chris and to Craig. What a night we've had. Biles is back and we'll be seeing an awful lot more of her over the next few days. But first, as we've just said, it's the men. Can Daiki Hashimoto win again? We will all find out tomorrow. Hope you can join us. From all of us here, bye-bye. Daiki Hashimoto, the new Japanese superstar. He's a gymnast with energy and style. Goal for Hashimoto. The men's all around Olympic champion. Hey! What a handball final! Another gymnast that just makes this look easy. He's the prince of gymnastics now.